I feel that the West is feeling so threatened right now, not because of many other things, but because it feels that now there's an alternate model, perhaps, which is giving the end uh, through means which are not democratic, perhaps, entirely democratic, as in Western democracies. And that is perhaps leading to the fear, and that is leading to all of this restlessness and the helplessness. Yeah, which are the two themes that we've had two years ago and this year in the Munich Security Conference. I agree that those, you know, the global elites mm. that go to these conferences feel that way. I think the average American is not yet in any way thinking about the mm. fact that there's an alternative model out there that's threatening to them. They're mm. thinking that the alternative model is Democrats versus Republicans. Sure. It's a different problem. Yeah. But um, I remember two years ago, mm. Uh, and you said you'll take the bait. I believe you mm -hmm. uh, when you mentioned to me about the democratic erosion in India because mm -hmm. you referred to India under Modi mm -hmm. as a rogue state. Mm -hmm. India is now becoming the bully for the entire region and is actually going against every international commitment and, frankly speaking, regional commitments and bilateral commitments it made to Pakistan by what it did in Kashmir. Now, when you do all of that, what do you become? You become a rogue state. Which is a strong statement. Mm, mm. Do you still feel that way? He's very popular today mm, in India. Mm. He's about to win a whole bunch mm, of state elections. Mm. Do you still feel that way? You know, uh, Ian, everyone who's doing the wrong thing is popular in their own countries, mm. right? So this, you know, this whole theme of helplessness, mm. and we talked about it in the main session, yeah. that helplessness felt by people, by the, by, by the electorate, okay? creates this demand for someone coming in with an alternate system. So India, a secular, developing country with strong democratic credentials. And here comes this person who gives an alternate uh, route to India, okay, which is non-secular uh, for sure. India, you know, since we talked, by the way, there has been the Citizen Amendment Act, okay? Uh, I think after that was the Kashmir, or just around the same time. So it, the taking it, away of the autonomy, ta of taking away of the right. autonomy, mm -hmm. yeah. taking away of the autonomy, yeah. and the Citizenship Act is not a small thing, right? Because basically, you're saying everybody's Hindu is uh, has a right to be an Indian citizen. Anyone who's Muslim has the least right, and anyone in the middle, we'll think about it, right? And after that, there've been attacks on universities, there've been attacks on people covering their head. So that is not a liberal India, okay? Where you're propagating a certain a uh, person or certain set of people who are Indians and the rest are not. If you don't follow the right religion, if you don't follow the right ethnicity, if you, uh, you know, uh, you may not be as Indian as the others, that is very, very dangerous because India is a large country. India has a regional, um, you know, presence, okay? And uh, you, I, I will connect this to the Quad because India is in Quad. Why? Or, you know, suddenly why has the quad come up? Because all, everything that is happening in the world, or at least our part of the world, has to do with containment of China. No, and I'm going to stick to my, you know, I'm going to stick to that position. Because lit pretty much everything that is happening around our region, where the West is involved, where the US particularly is involved, all of it is coming in from a fear of China, from a containment of China policy. And India today can get away with murder, and the West would look away. Because they need, they, they look at India as the only alternative uh, to containing China within the region, uh, embroiling China in some ways. I, I think it's very, very dangerous. The, the trends in the world right now are supremely dangerous.